Well, Ben and Sarah, to answer these questions, let's take a look at Connecticut's hate crimes laws. And we speak to a University of New Haven associate professor, Michael Aller, who is a former prosecutor and state representative for context. Let's verify. Connecticut's hate crime laws are actually called something else entirely. They're called intimidation based on bigotry or bias crimes and are defined by state law as actions that intimidate or harass another person motivated in whole or in part by religion, ethnicity, disability, sex, sexual orientation, or gender identity or expression. While all felonies, they are divided into three categories. Third degree intimidation relates to damage to property by action or threat and is punishable up to three years in prison. The most recent example of this type of crime is when the Black Lives Matter mural in downtown Hartford was defaced. Second degree intimidation also includes damage to property and threat, but includes when the suspect makes physical contact with the victim and is punishable up to five years in prison. First degree intimidation, which is the most severe out of the three, is defined by actions that cause physical injury. For any hate crime charges to be filed, prosecutors must prove motive and intent. You also have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt the reason she was assaulted, presumably because she's a Muslim or because she's a woman or because she's a, uh, you know, an immigrant or a person of color. Um, if you could prove that, then you can charge intimidation based on bigotry and bias. Lawler says it's not uncommon for additional charges to be added later in the investigation, but says mental health issues could also play a role in the final charges. Guys like this would be assessed uh, once he's in the Department of Correction to figure out does he have some serious mental health issues, and that may turn out to be the bottom line in this particular case. Doesn't mean he won't be punished, just means it might be harder to prove that he specifically targeted this woman based on her uh, religion in this case. Now, it is important to note that in the case of State Representative Khan, the suspect in the case has not been charged yet with any hate crimes. In studio, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.